Okay, welcome back to Indie Pack Day 2. This is some footage from Day 1, some crew rolling out of Fremantle, Perth on the start of the epic 5,500km ride across Australia, unsupported. Um, there's no luxury on this ride. Everyone's carrying what they need. You can see everyone's got um, bags on their, on their bikes with their sleeping bags, their bivvy bags, their food. Everything they need is on the bikes. Um, and I was just checking out this guy's YouTube video, and this guy claims this is Fruit Bat Eddie, who is a fellow YouTuber and is also quite close with Durian Rider, and he's saying that Durian Rider is out of the race. But I think I think he's just trolling. I think he's just trolling for views. It's the kind of it's the kind of content that that Fruit Bat Eddie would would upload for sure. I don't believe in. I can't believe uh, Durian Rider would give up that easy. It is quarter to three in the morning, Aussie time, and look at them go, look at them go, they're still riding. I don't think some of these guys have even slept. Uh, Mike Hall is currently up the lead there in first position. He's done over 600k. He's absolutely flying. There he goes. That's not the bike he's riding, he's actually riding a Kinesis Grand Fondo. Closely followed by Jesse Carlson, the race founder. Just a few K behind him, if that. They can probably see each other up the road. But absolutely flying, doing an amazing job. At this point, they've been riding for probably 30 hours. Yeah, no, longer than that, 36 hours, and those guys have not slept. Have not missed a beat. They're just attacking it. Um, but bad news for these guys, Dan Welsh and Stewie. Both Brits, um, and they appear to be back in in Perth, in Fremantle. Don't know why. I don't know if that's a mistake. I don't know if something's gone wrong. But we'll just have to see what happens as that unfolds. Okay, so back up with the main pack, and we're just checking out. There's another another Brit, Frank Proud, doing really well. Over 440k's in, right in the middle of the bunch. Doing really good, really good. Let's go and hit. Hit Frank up on Facebook. Okay, so we've already friend requested him. Let's just send him a nice little message. Just to wish him luck. On his, on his journey. Absolute legend. It's really inspired me, this race. Um, it's something that I would really, really like to do next year. If they run it again next year... I'm up for it. I'm really up for it. Okay, who else we got? Who else we got? Joe Donnelly. Joe Donnelly, another Brit. 23. You go, mate. Go. F Good for you. Good for you. 23. Getting it done. We're just gonna. We're just gonna check out all the Brits. See how the how the Brit pack is doing. Who is this? Who is this? Is this Lou? Leo. Leo is 250k's in. Leo Bridger, 20. He's got to be the youngest rider in the Indy Pack. Youngest rider, 20 year old, riding 5,500k across Australia. Unsupported man. I wish I had my shit together like this guy does when I was 20. And just checking out Jurian Rider there. So what is Durian Rider doing? He's off the road. He's not on the road. And he appears to be in some bushes. So here's the man himself. He's just rolling into town. I think he's at Bruce Rock here. He's looking good. He's looking fresh. And this is the bush that we saw before from the map view. And yet, sure enough, sure enough, he's just uh, bedding down for the night. He's got his food. He's going to eat a loaf of bread, a tar jar of tomato sauce, a can of baked beans, and a can of lemonade. That's his dinner. Go vegan. Here's the bamboo bike that Julian Ryder is riding. No carbon or titanium or alloy for him, just natural bamboo. That's his, um, what we were looking at there was his, his power supply. There we go. Power supply. Back to his dinner. So this is him rough camping. This is what the guys do in the indie pack this is what makes it so tough there's no hotels um 
you know, no comfy beds for the night. If you want to get it done and get it done quick, just got to get off your bike, unroll your bivy bag, unroll your sleeping bag, climb in, get a few hours sleep, get some food inside you, and then get on the road. There's no time for luxury. No time for luxury. It's all about getting it done. Here's James Rayson. Zipping along. This guy's doing really, really well. So, so well. Up the road there. Cycling Maven, not far behind. Also putting in a good effort. Although he, yeah, he looks like he's off the road. He's probably kicked down for the night. Can't blame him. It is three in the morning. And they've been, they've been up for over, over 30 hours. So he's probably just kicking down for the night in a lay-by. Back to James Rayson. So we just nipped over to his Strava feed. And yep, there we go. Day one done that's a nice old stretch on Strava there you can follow him James Rayson on Strava he's also got a really good YouTube channel but he is not he's not uploading live for the for the indie pack okay so it is now 20 to 3 in the afternoon the race has moved on I've had a bit of sleep <laughs> they haven't well some of them have and how has the race unfolded how has the race unfolded? So Mike Hall. So Mike Hall's not on the front anymore. He's not far off though. He's still he's still at the pointy end of the race. He's still doing really well. Jesus, over 800 Ks now. I think that says. Yeah, doing really really well. Adam Hunter from Canberra. In the thick of it as well. There's James. I think James is, looks like he's... Eh, he hasn't done much further than when we caught him before. He's maybe, he's maybe sleeping. He's maybe keeping down. He's maybe keeping down. James Rayson. There's Maven. Cycling Maven. Hit the road again after his kip. Doing really good. 460k in. Back to Jury and Ryder. So it's 3 p.m. again in the afternoon, and he's still holed up in the bushes. He did say, though, in his video he was going to get 12 hours kip. So that's day two done. In a nutshell, the pack hasn't really changed that much. It looks like we might have a couple of potential dropouts, um, two Brits, um, that I showed you have somehow man managed to, to get back to Adelaide. Uh, what has really happened with them, only time will tell, um, but we're going to wrap it up here. Uh, join me tomorrow, we're gonna, we'll are gonna we do day three tomorrow. We'll see how the, the pack's getting on, see what's shaking up in the pack. Remember to subscribe if you want to fo follow the indie pack with me. Subscribe now, and then you can see all the rest of my follow-up videos. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.